First off, there are multiple tools that you can use to remove valve springs. Some will be more effective than others on certain heads, and today we're going to be using this style. This one is designed to grab the spring in two different locations, squeeze it together so you can push it down and access the little valve keepers on top. Once you have the valve keepers off, you can use that spring tool to just lift the spring up off the head. Make sure you wear safety goggles and protect anything you don't want a spring shooting at. This tool has four hooks that will grab onto the spring. This particular one has the bottom ones offset. You'll want the bottom ones to grab on as low on the spring as possible and the top ones to grab on as high as possible. These bottom ones will open up when you squeeze together on the top portion. Find a spot on the spring that you can put the teeth into and then start tightening. The spring is already loose and turning, but it's not loose enough to get those keepers out. When you're removing the valves, they actually rest a little inward of the flat surface. So I just pick a scrap piece of anything soft and just set it underneath there. That way there's something underneath this when you try to compress the spring. Gonna use this neodymium magnet to pull the keepers out. This magnet on a stick thing works very well for pulling them out too. There's one. There's the other. Now the spring comes right off. And there's a valve. Now we have the valve and valve spring combo off of the head. All you have to remove now is the valve stem seal. If you prefer a more fast and aggressive approach, you can put the neodymium magnet at the bottom here. Then once the valve is ready to give up the keepers, you could just bash the top of the tool. This technique is where safety gear comes in extra handy. If you have any questions you want answered, drop by one of our social media pages. Or if you're watching this on the YouTube page, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next week.